Have you ever considered a Christmas with no presents? What? <laughs> so my family has started doing this. It was about six years ago now, I think, maybe even more, where I don't know if it was my mother or my stepfather or both of them, but they proposed that for Christmas, we actually don't exchange gifts. And let me tell you, it was the best thing we ever did as a family. I'm so glad we started doing it. It has made Christmas so much more relaxing. So what we decided to do is that there would be no gift exchanging between the adults whatsoever. My family would, you know, the extended family, whoever got together on Christmas Day, the adults didn't exchange gifts. But if there were kids like my son, we were allowed to buy presents for the children. And I think that that is the right way. For me, it has been so relaxing. It seems to be the right way. And I think it is an idea worth spreading, which is why I'm making this video, because I think everyone needs to enjoy such a relaxing Christmas. Think about it. Often we end up buying presents that that other person doesn't even want, need, or like. How many Christmas presents have you received that you've hated, you've not needed it, you don't like it, you don't eat nuts, you don't eat that particular brand of chocolate, or you don't eat meat anymore, or the top is too small, or it's too large, it's not a style you like, you don't need another freaking pair of Christmas socks, <laughs> you don't need another face wash, body wash. Do you know how many women receive body lotions, bubble bath, bath products for Christmas? I think it's, ugh, can we please anyway stop doing that at least if we are going to continue doing <laughs> presents for Christmas, please people. Now, of course, it is nice to give and receive gifts. I'm not saying it's not. But Christmas has become so commercialized and the stress of going into the shops in December can become unpleasant. It can drive you crazy. You end up queuing. There's just, it's just madness. And then you get people like a good friend of mine who ends up pre-planning all her Christmas gifts and has it all ready like by the middle of the year or at least before November. But I mean, then you're stressing about Christmas the whole freaking year. Oops, well, there goes my earring. <laughs> Can you imagine the zen, the peace, the calm that you would experience if for Christmas your focus was on simply getting together with your loved ones and enjoying a beautiful meal and a beautiful day together? Isn't that the true spirit of Christmas anyway? And so not giving gifts, while at first it might seem strange and your brain does, it, er, does not compute, can't not have gifts on Christmas, I'm here to tell you that my family has done it for, like I say, six, seven years now. And it is beautiful and wonderful. And none of us feel any worse for it. We don't feel a lack of love. We don't feel like we are missing out at all. In fact, I would say we actually feel like we have gained. We've gained the true meaning of Christmas because we look forward to spending time just with each other. Our gift is the food that we have prepared and brought along on Christmas Day. Our gift to each other is that day together, quality time together, the lack of stress. Also, how stressful is it to give gifts and now you've got to watch the other person open and you're thinking, what if they don't like it? And are they being fake? Ooh, lovely oh it's so nice and then you who's received the gift now uh, it's not really anything you would have bought for yourself and now you're like oh another pair of underpants I don't need or whatever the case may be soap on a rope yay just what I wanted and it seems to me like it's such a waste it seems to me and I'm sure you have felt this too I think we all feel it Christmas is so commercialized why am I the only one that feels that way no no I'm not <laughs> it's just a big money-making scheme it's taken away from the true meaning and most of the world most of the world is not that religious anyway there are some people who do believe truly in the real meaning of christmas but most of us are not churchgoers anymore and so we are celebrating this holiday this day that has no real religious or spiritual significance for us and yet we all drive ourselves crazy buying gifts for everybody that's going to show up and then you also have to, you know, there's this pressure of what if my gift doesn't match the amount that their gift is for me and it's awkward and really, really, 
we can just drop it all. It's actually possible. It's doable. So if you are the brave one in your family, you can lead the way, start the change, and just say, that's it. Christmas is lovely for the children. Children love getting presents. It's very exciting. I'm not saying to destroy all of that for the children. And you can decide at what age you stop doing the gifts for the kids. But for adults, we're over it now. We're tired. Save yourself. Spare yourself trawling up and down the malls or scrolling endlessly on all these shopping platforms and buying gifts for thousands of people. Just don't do it. You don't have to. There is no rule book. There is no rule that says thou shalt buy presents for Christmas. I think birthdays are another thing. That's different. You are celebrating that individual person. And there it is lovely to give a gift that you've really thought about for that one special person on their special day. But that's different. And I'm not saying you can't give gifts, but does it have to be commercialized gift giving at Christmas? Or can we not just surprise our loved ones with gifts throughout the year at a different time that's come from our heart and not out of pressure, not out of expectation, guilt, whatever the case may be. I just think it's all a sham, it's a farce, and I, I just speak from experience, and I think it's an idea worth spreading and sharing. No gifts for Christmas. Use it, don't use it. I will see you in my next video. Happy December.